By all means, please tell my wife about us. In a previous life before my world came apart about five months ago I was the solo pastor of a medium-sized church in a large-ish southern city. One unhappy side effect of being a solo pastor is that when your phone rings, you answer it even if you don't recognize the number since you have no idea how important the call may be. It could be a church member's grandkid, whom you've never met, calling to tell you Miss Bessie has been diagnosed with some horrible disease, or it could be a church member who just wants to talk your ear off for two hours. So earlier this evening my phone rings, and since old habits die hard, I answered it. Me, hello. Her, hey, what are you up to? I want to be clear before I proceed that I don't recognize this lady's voice but I just assumed that she was a former church member, member's kid, or grandkid. Something. So, I was cordial. Me, not much, honestly. I actually just walked through the door with some food. How about you? Her, I'm hanging out with girl whose name I don't know. Dot. Me, great. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but with whom am I speaking? I don't recognize your voice and I have no idea who other girl is. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently that was the wrong thing to say. Her, Darren, you know who this is. This is Jessie. Me, well, Miss Jessie, I hate to break this to you but my name isn't Darren and I don't know any women named Jessie. I believe you've called the wrong number. Her. No I didn't. This isn't funny Darren. What happened? Did you leave your ringer on again and you're worried your wife is going hear us talking? Me, ma'am, I'm very sorry but now I know you've got the wrong number. Her, I want to come over there and tell her all about us and how you've been screwing me behind her back for two years. I'm sick of this shit. Q malicious compliance. Me. You know what, that would be great. By all means, come to my house and wake my wife up and tell her all about our torrid sexual affair. Her, I'm leaving now. Engine cranks in background. Me, okay. See you soon. Five months ago, I discovered that my wife of 10 years started cheating on me 18 months into our marriage. She racked up a grand total of 16 affairs in a decade. Somewhere in my immediate area a man's wife was just awakened by her husband's side piece banging on the front door. She deserves to know what kind of man she married. I'm just sorry I can't be a fly on the wall for the very special episode of the Jerry Springer show that just started in her driveway. Now to the comments. Always remember kids, cheating can be a mistake but not an accident, and 16 is neither. I really like that, and I hope you don't mind that I'm stealing it. Cheating can be a mistake, but not an accident. Going to cheat and steal this from you in case I need it for a test. Cheating can be a mistake, but not an accident. Hey OP, 10 years is a long time. Five months isn't. I hope you're doing all right. I'm sure you listen to a lot of people's problems, just make sure have someone to listen to you when you need it. OP replied. Thanks. The last five months have been absolute hell but I'm gutting it out day by day. Are you still a pastor? I hope you are taking some time for yourself. At least some sort of reprieve to get your head on straight. To all the cheaters that are angry, duck you. Well done. But it was just an accident. What, you accidentally drove over to his place, your clothes suddenly fell off and you slipped on his cock. Get it out. To paraphrase a comedian, I heard a long time ago, I sat down to do my taxes and spilled the coffee on important papers is an accident. Cheating is like setting down to do your taxes and accidentally baking a cake. I hope she wasn't bluffing and she actually got to the guy's house.
assuming it was the correct guy's house, her track record doesn't seem to be the best on that. The ultimate ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Honestly, I'd call back in a day or so just to ask how things went, and what did we learn? Hey I just wanted to follow up, couldn't help but notice you never showed up at my house. Just left the cheater I was with. I wish someone would have done this for me. Oh man, no one should have to go through that, I'm so sorry that you experienced that betrayal. I hope life gets better for you. God bless. I'm sorry about that, OP. I have an idea of how lonely leading a congregation can be, I hope you've got some good support from elders or someone else. I think it was a perfect answer. My first husband was a scumbag cheater. When do we get the rom-com of the wife who was cheated on coming to your church to find solace and you two fall madly in love? Ooh, beautiful setup. Odd meet cute though. Maybe she can drop her divorce papers outside of his church. I have a pastor friend who laments that the only time she gets to meet single guys her age is when she's officiating their late wife's funeral, and it's unethical to hit on them then. Now I also wanted to know what transpired after this call. A great man once asked are you a faithless preacher, or a mean mother ducking servant of God, as someone who's been cheated on, and unknowingly the side dick, I'm putting you in the mean mother ducking servant of God column. OP replied. I'm going to assume that's a good thing since it sort of sounds like one. It is. It's from a movie called From Dusk Till Dawn, Asked by George Clooney to Harvey Keitel, the mention of being a former pastor got it stuck in my head. I'm definitely picturing you as the type of pastor to bless condoms full of water to make holy water balloons, then picking up a shotgun to fight some vampires. No, it doesn't really make sense in context. I'm so sorry. My now ex-wife cheated on me. We also were married for 10 years. That hurts. This is her way of confessing and praying you tell her to do what you just said for her to do. She was going to spill the beans but now she had your blessings. She masked her shame by acting like she dialed the wrong number. 3D chess move. I'm just speculating. If she actually did it I'd say 4D chess move. 1D because he dropped the balls. Great if she gets the right house, hopefully her ability to remember where this guy lives are better than her ability to remember his phone number, or what he sounds like. Everything okay with this but I read side piece as side spice and it makes me sad it's not the usage, side spice sounds better than side piece. Side spice, she was very popular but still got voted out by the other spice girls. I guess we can say she was too spicy for them. I'm not a philosopher, Harry, Michael said, but here's something for you to think about, at least. What goes around comes around. And sometimes you get what's coming around. He paused for a moment, frowning faintly, pursing his lips, and sometimes you are what's coming around. Jim Butcher, Grey Peril bit harsh on OP. He wasn't the one screwing around. He wasn't the vengeful mistress. He did what all normal people would have done. To be fair, if she was threatening to do it anyway, he just shortcut the process and saved the wife a year wasted. My dyslexia almost made me start a fight with you. I read bit harsh on OP as bit harsh, OP.
and I can assume we're on the same side with people judging this guy for exposing a cheater. Thank you, I read it the same way at first too. You should call her now, she's probably single. Solo pastor no more, winky. You did the Lord's work Padre. Well done, sounds like God gave you a small part in two cheaters coming out of the shadows and facing consequences. Sorry about your ex-wife cheating on you. People who are not cheaters don't spot it because they would never treat another person that way so they tend to think the best of people. Been there. Thinking the best of people is a strength not a weakness. Thinking the best of people is a strength not a weakness. That's very interesting. I'm going to think about that. Thank you. I am just finishing up a divorce with my, very unfaithful, wife. I appreciate what you did very very much, thank you.